Okay, so we're going to be discussing temperature and the effects of temperature in incubation process, hatching, and a little bit of rearing. So, what is the temperature that we incubate at? We normally prepare our spindle and incubate at 37.2 degrees centigrade. In the big picture, I think, it doesn't have to be precisely 37.2 degrees, plus or minus half a degree is probably going to give you good results. What is a little bit hotter, a little bit warmer? A little bit hotter means that the chick develops faster, uh, a little bit cold means the chick develops slower. Okay. If we increase the temperature, what happens? That just accelerates the development of the chick, but he, he, the development of the chick is unbalanced for a way of describing it. He doesn't develop all of his organs and tissues at a, at a normal rate. And the converse is uh, the case for, uh, for colder temperatures. So if it's too cold, it doesn't develop in time. Okay, we're right. basically monitoring uh, very easily the allotropic development of a chip, which is the vein. Which is the vein. So it starts with the blastocyst, which is just a little, little thing here. And then the uh, vein development develops around that, which is called the uh, Alan Torres. Yeah. Uh, and that is the key to, to monitoring the health and viability of that chip. Okay, so that Alan Torres membrane, the little red blood vessels, go all the way around the edge? Yes, that's what you're targeting. You're targeting to get a total Alan uh, membrane development yep. all the way around the inner cell surface. And you're trying to get that developed as fast as possible. The faster you get that developed, the healthier and stronger your chick you're going to have in the air. Our, well, our work basically shows you you're around that 50 to 52 percent of the normal incubation period is when you're targeting 100 percent Alan membrane development. The second half of the incubation, has got the veins all the way around it. That's correct. Okay. So in the second half of the incubation is all about trying to get that chick in the correct position for that chick. The other flip side will be the, 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 the highest point, the most highest point, in the air cell, into the air cell, for yeah. the chick to internally pick into the air cell, yeah. Yeah. externally pick out through the air cell, and, um, out through the shell wall. Yes, similar to that. That's right. Yeah. It's still not disastrous. If it pips, if it pips elsewhere, huh? as long as you elevate that pip side to the highest point immediately. And what happens is that your pip side is to the below, the risk of the chick drowning in the, in the, in the fluid of the, the chick is very high. Okay. So if you elevate it, there's a very high probability it'll have to be. Is there any difference in the temperature from when we start incubation to when the chick hatches? Well, we're not doing any temperature changes uh, in, in the artificial uh, incubators we use until we go to the hatching, uh, to the hatcher. As soon as you get externally pips, okay. we then move to a hatcher. Yep. Um, Is which the hatcher moving? No, uh, the hatcher is not moving, it's just normal, in a normal, it goes into a small container, tissue line, and the pip side is elevated to the highest point. Yep. Um, and we normally run that as a slightly, well, we normally run that at about 60% relative humidity. Temperature, mm -hmm. the temperature is slightly cooler, around 36 to 36 to 36.5 degrees centigrade. Cool. So that's temperature.